Welcome! We are Flight of the Crow's Wing. In this video, we are earning money for future travels by gate guarding in the oil fields of Texas. We first heard of gate guarding through the videos we found on the YouTubes. It was required for us to have a travel trailer, most of the jobs are for couples, and each person needs to have a Level 2 Texas Security License. We chose to contract through J&G Security. They helped us with the steps in getting our license and had a good reputation. We started by traveling to the J&G Security Office south of San Antonio. We parked our trailer in their standby lot which has full hookups with water, electricity, and sewage. It also has a shower house and laundry facilities. Our stay was nice, but very brief, as a gate job came up in less than 48 hours. We got the call, and we were asked to pack up and head east to a site outside of Gonzales. There was an oil rig already in the process of drilling. The previous guards had to leave because their rig was too large for the trailer pad. Its multiple slide outs stuck out into the road and were a hazard for the trucks. Lucky for us, our trailer is small for most work campers, and it fit with no problems. There were no open vistas here. The terrain was flat and a little marshy, but it was quiet, except for the truck traffic, and it made for entertaining wildlife viewing. And we got to meet some colorful locals who entertained us with their stories and brought us watermelon and fresh baked muffins. Our job consisted of checking in vehicles, recording their license plate numbers, drivers' names, and the companies they work for. Traffic consisted of rig workers and trucks hauling in supplies and equipment and hauling out other stuff. Training to do this job took about five minutes, putting information into an iPad. But it took a few days to get comfortable with the ins and outs of the business. In a typical day, we had anywhere from 30 to 50 vehicles come in and out. Each only took a minute to check in or out, so there was a lot of downtime. The only truly busy days we had was when they were starting up a new well, or when they were moving the entire rig. I used my downtime for important things like reading, listening to music, and napping. I used my downtime for reading, listening to music, but also I managed to do quite a few videos, so I spent a lot of time editing. Poor little toad, he fell in our bucket. I think he might be okay. He's pretty tired though. Looks like he puffed himself up so he would float in his own flotation device. This area was filled with a myriad of creatures. Many of them came out at night to keep us company. There was a non-stop parade of living things. On the few days the rain came, we took shelter in our trailer. Most of the trucks drove right up to our awning to check in or out, but there were a few we had to venture out into the rain for. With the rain came a whole different type of wildlife, including these little teeny tiny white snails that were out all over the vegetation. Sitting outside during our shifts at night, we could watch the moon rise and slowly move across the sky.
The lights attracted insects. The insects attracted toads. Excuse me, sir. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Hey, don't run from the Lord! Where are you going? And I filmed this creature. It was beautiful. Fairies are real! Most of our neighbors didn't seem to like being filmed. If you're gonna bug me, I'm just gonna leave. We split the day into three eight-hour shifts. I worked from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. Then I would work the 2 a.m. to about 10 a.m. every morning. The remaining eight hours we worked together, and whoever was the least busy took care of the trucks. One of us had to be on site 24-7, so when it came time to do laundry or get groceries, one of us had to stay behind so the other one could go. Hey friend, to help me edit today, Grasshopper, he says I should play a fiddle instead of working. I think that's a great idea, Mr. Grasshopper, except I have no musical talent at all. You have a broken antenna. We learned that this area in Texas had over 230 species of dragonflies. There were many where we were at, but this was the only one that we actually got a good picture of. Not for lack of trying. Roseate schema. On a few nights, we were able to catch a glimpse of one of our favoriteest animals. The awesome possum. Possums eat 3,000 ticks per day. Yes, they are truly awesome. Even though we were staying less than a mile from the Guadalupe River, we didn't get to use our kayaks, but we did get to replace the handles that had been damaged from sun exposure. What's living under that kayak? What? What's living under that kayak? What? What's living under that kayak? What? Black widow spider. Okay! Finally, all five wells were drilled and it was time for the rig to move on. This process took several days and many, many large trucks. Uh, a bunch 
bunch of hoses and tubes coming off the back, but supposedly what comes out of it is environmentally friendly. Um, coming out of our waste pipe on the trailer, we have a honey pot, which is basically a grinder pump in a little setup that uh, we empty into it, and it actually has a pump that then pumps into the sewage system. So that's how that's taken care of. We're plugged in. We have our water supply. It's not, it doesn't have the best water pressure, but hey, it's water. It's not drinkable. Not potable. We use it for washing up. Um, we have our chairs and our rug. The rug does a lot to keep from getting dust and dirt in the trailer, which is constant clean to keep that up and going. The little light things are our driveway alarms. down that way. The reason that we have that many is because down in the direction towards the rig we had one that wasn't going off consistently and sometimes we didn't see people until they came all the way up to the door and we like to have advanced warning. He's my honey, he's up. And the blue tote are our uh, rubber boots for the couple times it's rained. It's been nice to be able to put boots on just to keep ourselves a little bit cleaner trailer. We have our official papers that we're supposed to just display while we're working. And the only other thing that we have here of note is that with the air conditioner running non-stop, we had constant drippage from our drip rails. And so we fashioned this little system that we had found online uh, with the pool noodles and the water actually drips down into the buckets. Right now there's a couple dead bugs in here, but the water's clean enough we can use it for general cleaning purposes outside. So that's pretty much it. We'll be packing up today and moving to a new site, hopefully. They still have that job open for us, but we'll find out in a little bit. And now our gallery of creatures. Black Swallowtail. Female Dodge on Fly. Yellow Garden Spider Carolina Mantis Male Dodge on the Fly Texas Toad Green Tree Frog Luna Moth Io Moth Red Eyed Devil Katie Did Another damn Texas toad. I'd click beetle. Jumping spider. Some other spider. Gray tree frog. Another freaking jumping spider. Some kind of dragonfly. Banded Argiope. Watch out. It's a bark scorpion. That is so cool. Scorpions fluoresce under UV light.
No sooner did we get packed up and we were given our next assignment, this time to a new rig outside of Gillette. A temporary guard had been posted until we could get there. This spot had wide open views and was much drier than the last. One of the rig workers loaned us a weed whacker that we could use to tame the field that we were parked in. Directly across from our site was a flare stack, which was quite active. We named it the Flaming Fart Tube. The flaming fart tube could turn the darkest of nights into a Dante-esque glowing landscape in the blink of an eye. Most mornings it was just me and a quiet morning sunrise. I spent a few hours chasing after these birds. I could hear them, I could usually see them, but to get them to hold still for a photograph was a whole nother thing. Finally, I was able to photograph this female as she sat upon the fence. She was hunting for a tasty insect meal. While seldom seen, there were a few creepy crawlies. Spider. With the wide open vistas, there were beautiful sunrises and sunsets, and lots of time to view them. Scissor tail flycatcher. With photos of the scissor tails in my bag, it was time to move on to our bovine neighbors. I think she looks like the Mona Lisa.
Initially, they were all moving away from me, and then I tripped and fell on the grass. That made them stop and turn back to see what I was doing. What you doing down there? Some nights the moon kept us company. This is the reflection of the moon on the nearby highway. Then there were the nights and days that the rain came. If one of us were sleeping in the trailer, the other took shelter in the truck. Finally, our contract was finished, and it was time to head to Kentucky, where we would be working with Amazon's Camper Force during the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays. Okay. Well, All right, here we are. Here we are. It's it, January. It is January. In Pennsylvania. It's, we finished our Camper Force job on December 19th. 19th. And it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, but we're talking about gate guarding here. <laughs> so, like any job. Like any job. <laughs> there are pros and cons. There are lots of pros and cons. We have not rehearsed this, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see. We can always... <laughs> redo it <laughs> all right so i'm gonna let you go first all so right let's start with with a I, I'm, I'm gonna start with a pro of gate guarding okay i enjoyed the gate guarding and you get to earn a decent amount of money for the time you actually spend working and on the con side since you're there 24 hours a day you're not earning all that much <laughs> per hour it works out to just about minimum wage per hour, but you only spend an actual 15 minutes an hour working, so you're actually making more than minimum wage. <laughs> well, basically, we were making $181 a day as a couple. As a couple. Yes. So, so that is also one of my pros. It's a good way to, to earn money without spending money. Uh, your electricity, your water, your sewage, your place to stay are all provided for. And since you're there 24 seven, for the most part, other than somebody leaving to go do errands, you don't that's, spend a lot of money. We filled up the gas tank on the truck. Two of my pros. <laughs> one, <laughs> one, one, one is you save money we, by not going anywhere. Right. We, we fill up the gas tank on the truck once per month yeah. versus what we normally spend, which is several a lot. times per month. Right, right, right. So, um, I one of my cons were um, uh, lots of uh, along that same line. We had lots of time to do things other than working, even when you're yes. working. So that's, we that's spend, a pro. Not a con. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so one of my pros. <laughs> you had a lot of time to do other things. I spent a lot of time editing videos. I listen to music. I've read more books than I have in years. I had time to take photographs of insects like you wouldn't believe. Sit and look at nature. And we did meet a few people. We met a few people. Some fun people. Some jerks. Some fun people. Not very many jerks. Not as many jerks. Right. Right. Uh, one of the cons is you can't go anywhere. <laughs> You're there 24-7. It's true, and Seven it, was, it was fine for the first month and a half, and then it got a then little it, then wearing. Because yeah. even even when you're together at dinner time, there's a truck disturbing your dinner, so you can have a bite of food, go check in a truck, come in, you might finish your meal, you might not have to go check in another truck. <laughs> we take turns. We take turns. Yep, yep. So. Uh, 
one of the cons, and this would be a biggie for a lot of couples, were that you don't get to sleep together. We were working yep. different shifts. So uh, I would sleep, she would sleep. Then we'd be together. We'd be awake together, and then we'd rotate again. Which also leads me to one of my pros. You when get the I bed to yourself. <laughs> the bed in you our trailer is kind of small. So in that respect, you know, you had to hold bed to yourself. So it's not all bad. <laughs> I have listed on my pros. Not around a lot of people. <laughs> that is a pro. <laughs> this is not a job for extroverts. <laughs> But the people you do meet, most of them were really, really nice people. They were fun to talk to. Yeah, some were real characters. So that's real, a whole, that's a whole other story. That's a different story altogether. <laughs> um, on the cons, um, it was noisy. Um, the generator runs 24-7, and you can hear that all the time. In the first place that we were at, it was fairly close to the trailer, and there yep. were trees behind it that bounced the sound back at us. And along with the generator, there's semi-trucks driving right by your campsite 24-7. And when you're sleeping, that only bothers you for the first few days. And after that, and you, you get used to you it. You get used to it. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, oh, uh, when you're working your shift outside and the other person's sleeping in our small trailer, there was really no way to go into the trailer without yep. disturbing them. So yep. uh, you had to deal with the heat and humidity if you were out. So yep. we tended to do our shifts during the coolest part of the, the day. day and night because... And then we were both awake during the heat of the day and we could both be in with the air conditioner running yes. and one of us would go out when a truck would come. Right. right. So all told, um, we made over $10,000 in two and, and a half months. In two and a half months. Which is pretty good. I did not spend a lot of money, so... And I, as for whether we do it again or not, we're planning I, on I going would, back. I would do it again. I, I wouldn't have any problem doing it again. Yep. yep. For two months. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do it longer than that. No, some people have been doing it for some years. Some people have do it, and... been doing it for years, and I don't see how they do it. No, no. But, uh... two, and, two months, two and a half months, you can do all right. Well, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, leave just your questions leave them in, in the, the comments. comments and and see, but thanks for watching. Thank you.